five women heavily involved in the legal use of cannabis. You might be surprised just how up the executive chain female champions of the legal use of cannabis go. Mind you, why not when you consider that plenty of women smoke cannabis as well as use it for medical reasons. So, which women have a loud voice where cannabis is concerned, though we don't mean that they tend to shout all of the time? Let's start with Anne Lee, as she was one of the first women to make a noise about legalizing cannabis for medical use 30 years ago after her son was badly injured in an accident. Now still a vociferous octogenarian, that means she's 80 years old and still advocates on the matter, even though that term sounds more like the Latin name for a dinosaur. She also became responsible for the creation of RAMP, or Republicans Against Marijuana Prohibition, in the USA. In America, the black community is heavily penalized when it comes to drug use. Wanda James is trying to change that in Denver, Colorado, where she became the first woman of color to own a legal marijuana dispensary, simply pure dispensary. Wanda and her husband were also the first African Americans to start a legal cannabis cultivation facility and edibles company. Dr. Suzanne Sisley is an academic and a psychiatrist who is a leader in the field of cannabis science. She has carried out extensive research into the benefits of cannabis as a treatment for post-traumatic stress syndrome, or PTSD, as it's better known. Suzanne is also pushing cannabis flowers through the FDA drug development program, and if successful, this will mean that US insurance companies will have to cover the costs of cannabis when used as a pharmaceutical. Jessica Billingsley decided to combine IT with cannabis farming and through her company Arcana has developed highly successful software which is the first to provide comprehensive plant analysis and tracking from seed to sale. This involved closing information gaps in supply chain tracking including data about a plant's genetic makeup. Arcana was also the first cannabis software company to be listed on the Nasdaq the American equivalent to our stock exchange. Last but by no means least, we have Ferdinanda de la Figuera, a feisty Spanish lady known as Spain's weed granny. In Spain, cannabis is illegal if cultivated or sold commercially, but has been decriminalized for private use. As a consequence, many cannabis clubs have been created where members can share their produce among themselves but never beyond the groups. Ferdinanda started up the club, Marius by Maria, whose members were women who used cannabis for medical purposes. Marijuana at the club was provided in a safe manner to members, but the Spanish authorities deemed this as a form of trafficking and Ferdinanda was sentenced to nine months in prison. She has since taken her case to the European Court of Human Rights, so clearly this is not a woman you want to mess with. This is just a short list, and there are undoubtedly many more, and we'd love it if you could enlighten us all in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you too can become a cannabis expert.